previously on my no harvesting video. I decided to challenge myself by saying I was only allowed to get resources off of killing people, looting drops, and picking bushes for food. Anything outside of that was not allowed, however crafting was. I started by spawning on South 1 and knocking a couple people out. I quickly realized here that these people had nothing, not even a couple pieces of thatch on them, so I decided to move down south into West 2. On my way down, I came across a green drop that had a handful of resources. From this, I made cloth armor, a club, and a handful of bolas. When I got to West 2, I found a guy on a raptor, and I tried to bola him to try to take his shit, but his buddy showed up, so I had to run away. As they chased after me, a Thezzy aggroed after one of them, and ended up killing him. His buddy also ran away for some reason, and I was able to just take all of his shit. I ended up also killing his buddy at a later point, and then using the resources I got from the two of them, I was able to make a box in the ocean that I could stash stuff away in. And on my travels, I also found a unicorn, which of course I can't fucking pass that up. So the episode ended with me starting the process of taming it. Don't let these stupid fucking doughs hit you, because that'd be so annoying. He's just running towards the doughs, huh? Now rest assured, I will not be showing you all of this because even though it's a unicorn, it's still just an echoes with the horn, so it's kind of boring to tame. There we fucking go. I think that might be my first time taming one of these things. I've tamed it, but here's the current issue. It looks cool, but it draws a lot of attention, and it's only level 5. I have more health than this thing on my fucking character. So I'm going to upload it to a drop until I can hopefully find a cryopod so I can put it away in the box as one of my spoils of war, even though I tamed it peacefully. There's a couple close calls with the dillos there, but I'm happy to have this beautiful steed out of my possession. I was half expecting a mana to come up with the horizon at any point and just ruin my day. There's a fucking guy back there. I was uh, a little more stressful. <sighs> Speaking of manas, I was half expecting a mana to come up with the horizon at any point and just ruin my day. Well, that was some good timing then. Now, I'm not sure whether or not that mana would have killed me in my unicorn. But I'm glad I didn't have to find out. There we go, here's someone coming by on a raft. So just if he just had some wood on his inventory, that would be fucking sweet. so heavy <coughs> so just if he just had some wood on his inventory that would be fucking sweet oh jesus so this guy for some reason has no armor on and he's just going around looting random bases with all this shit on him glad i gotta take it at least after getting rid of 3600 fiber Yes, literally. I was finally able to move. This guy had given me some decent shit. Get the fuck out of here. Dude, smithy, metal. <laughs> I could make it. You know, we're acquiring some of the resources necessary for an actual fucking base. So what I got off of that guy was a smithy, a set of metal tools, a pike, crossbow, a bunch of arrows, some spare metal, and some narcotics. And I almost feel kind of bad, because that guy must be pretty new if he's walking around with that shit, without even cloth on. All the spare equipment and resources I had were obviously put into the boxes I had in the ocean. 
That way, if I died, I'd have something to come back to, and I also wasn't lugging around a bunch of unnecessary weight. My greed, however, is unquenchable, and I went back to the base of the guys I'd been bullying before to scrounge up some more shit off of them like a fucking leech. What I ended up finding was actually not what I expected, and quite sad, to be real. To the old reliable here. Oh. <laughs> Oh no. Wood. So you know that man of armor I saw coming from this direction? Whew. That was uh, a little more stressful. Speaking of manas, I guess I found the answer to my question of if he would have killed my unicorn. If those things back there are his, and it's about a 90% chance they are, then yeah, he probably wouldn't have shown any mercy my unicorn. Oh, and in terms of that guy I clubbed out back there, Pete was just some random guy passing through that decided to give me another fucking crossbow. Although them getting raided did mean I just lost my most reliable source of resources, I can still patrol the island and look around for anybody or anything worth knocking out and taking all the shit from. <coughs> oh shit! Must be grenades. I can fuck this guy. <coughs> I'll be taking those now. Let's see. Time to skedaddle. It's a good thing I uh, tested out the damage of grenades, because maybe I would have ran away when he threw those. What I'm referring to right here is my last video, which was a grenade god. Expecting a grenade raid on a already raided base. Unfortunately, he's blown through most of them, but I did still get five. <coughs> Unfortunately, the guy had nothing but five grenades. Literally just five grenades. It's actually sad to see them go. Like, I understand I was picking on them a little bit, but... These people obviously weren't good at the game, and just, like, wiping them completely doesn't teach them anything. Kind of like me fighting them. I did... I think I did make them a little better at PvP, because they know what's going on a bit more now. But just come by with the man and wiping them, the only thing that makes them do is quit PvP. That's a guy on that. But like, what the fuck am I gonna do? <laughs> oh no, he's gonna bite me, bitchy. Now the reason I jumped in there to punch his dolphin was just to try to get him to fight me. Come on, buddy. Try growing a pair. Here we go, okay. Alright, it's time. Let's see how this fella does. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking go to sleep. <laughs> Ever getting off that itchy was a fucking mistake. Oh, 
Oh! Yeah, I could use this stuff. S fucking scuba set. I'm not even high enough level to make that yet. Damn, what did that guy have to gain by fighting me? That was like almost an even fight. I only had a slight disadvantage there. We were using clubs and bolas. That guy had nothing to gain and everything to lose and he still went for it. He had the option to just stay on his itchy, but he still came for me. Alright, let's take a look. So, a lot of electronics. I'm going to throw those away because I don't need them. <sighs> Here's all the... Uh, so, a set of flak. The better part of a set of scuba. A cool fucking crossbow. Set of tools. Spyglass. Whatever. That's just cool. I just love that. And it was now coming to the end of the time I had to play Ark, so time to put everything away and just admire in what I managed to do without being able to mine. So here's the first box. Some narcotics, full stack of curatin, that's cool. Bunch of metal tools, smithy, some metal, 2200 hide, a uh, nice hatchet, some grenades, a nice crossbow, and a couple pieces of flak, as well as some miscellaneous stone and wood. Box number two, not quite as impressive, just a bunch of thatch, hide. But there's about a hundred and a half trank arrows, which is very nice. And the final box, basically a full set of scuba, a full set of flak, some tools, gasoline, some electronics, and a nice chitin helmet. Overall, I'm even surprised I managed to get this much stuff. I was barely expecting to get a set of hide, but here I am with flak, and I can't even mine anything. If you guys enjoyed this type of video and want to see more, sort of like it, where I do something a little new that most people don't do go ahead and let me know in the comments either way uh hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one